Well, there is nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined, as always, on these big occasions by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. This ought to be a fantastic walk speed. Well, hundreds of millions of people will be tuning into this one. Probably the biggest club game in the world. Pointed end of the tournament. Who's going to come out on top? Well, Derek, we're just about to find out. Very, very excited. This is what we expect from the Blaugrana. Marc-André Ter Stegen starts in goal. Pique starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. And the defenders had better be on their toes because leading the line is Luis Suárez. And make no mistake, for a club the size of Barcelona, winning the Champions League is always one of the priorities. Absolutely. My favourite European team of all time. I just love watching them play. The style of football, the expectancy to win games is just insatiable. The opposition starting 11. 4-4-2, but with the emphasis on attack. Yeah, very much so, Derek. The number 10 will supply the support for the strikers. Three very, very narrow midfield players will also get forward. A little bit worried about the fullbacks exposed on that side. They need to be on their game when they don't have the ball. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. Frankie de Jong, Sergio Busquets. Arthur has it. Griezmann. Suarez. Oh, that's not watertight defend. Suarez! And that was a heaven sent opportunity to take the lead so early. First goal is so important, Derek. Sometimes you're not ready. Well, you really must be ready this early in the game. De Ligt. Well, it's impossible to have Lionel Messi in the starting lineup and not talk about what he does so well. Well, he plays the game as if the ball's his own. He lends it to other players. He's the glue between the team, between the different departments of the team, and he links everything together. Quadrado. He has been deemed to be offside, not by Muchley. Brilliant, brilliant officiating, that is. Look at that, spot on. Sergio Busquets. Sergio Roberto. Messi. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Messi! A goal for Barcelona. The Blaugrana out in front in the Champions League final. So how important will that be for Barcelona to get their noses in front? That remains to be seen. Well, here it is again. It looks a simple goal. He gets in a position not that far out from goal, but he has to hit the target. He does that, and it's in the back of the net. Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored. So the game has restarted, and it's Barcelona in front. Here's Ronaldo. Matuidi. Pjanic. And moving the ball nicely. Pass from Higuain, but not accurate.
Now Kadira. Matuidi. Matuidi. Dybala. Pjanic. Kadira. On to Ronaldo. Magnificent from Mark Andre Ter Stegen. into the centre of the box not to be this time Suarez he was no match for Matuidi Matuidi a really top-notch piece of defending well, Barcelona always fully expect to be at the business end of the UEFA Champions League but that doesn't mean that the group stage games don't have their own magic league no they don't and every time this team takes to the pitch there's something special normally happens, whether it's an individual or a team effort. They really are a special Spanish club. Here's Bonucci, Pjanic, Gadira, Higuain, Cristiano Ronaldo. There's plenty of know-how in the ball. A good vision from Sami Gadira. Well, it might still work out for them. Much more straightforward for the keeper this time, but previously he had work to do. Well, double bubble. He gets the ball in the end, but the first save he makes, absolutely brilliant. Big chance to get them on terms. Well, even Ter Stegen might wonder how on earth he got there. And the short option preferred. Back from the byline. Staunch rear guard action. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. A free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. Well, that's it. And now passing it through. Gliding through the gears. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. They've taken this corner short. And Suarez is in there. A fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Now Busquets. Artur. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Here's Bonucci. Pjanic. Dybala. Matuidi. Cristiano Ronaldo. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Alexandro. Dybala. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. Pjanic firing it over. No end product. Half time then, and we're sorry for the pause in the proceedings here, Lee, because this has been a thoroughly riveting Champions League final so far. Well, it has. Great game. Sometimes finals can be cagey affairs, but not this one. Let's hope, Derek, in the second half we get more of that. It's been really, really entertaining. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Alexandro now. De Ligt. Ramsey. It's with Dybala. And just couldn't keep the ball. He's got space. Suarez. Goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. Well, he's been kicking and heading every ball in that technical area. They've been good up to now, but it's still fine margins. Taken short. And he takes it on. Tremendous block. Yes, man. Throw in forthcoming for Barca. Jordi Alba. Now Busquets. 
Suarez. A glorious chance. And the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. If that went in, this game would have a very different complexion about it. But as it stands, it still could go either way. Given away by Barcelona. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now Quadrado. Ramsey. Promising sequence. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Now Griezmann. Messi waiting to pounce. Corner for Barcelona. And short it is. Accurate ball and draws the near post. Still alive. Pjanic. Quadrado. Given away. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Decent progress here from Luis Suarez. He has options. Well, they were possessing the ball well, but now they've lost it. Now Quadrado. Ramsey. Matuidi. Dybala. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Also maintain possession, advantage. Oh, this might pay dividends. And the keeper gets in the way. They've decided to take the corner short. De Jong. Sergio Busquets. Artur, can they convert? Oh, straight at the goalkeeper then. Janic now, Matuidi, Alexandro now, with their noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? Barcelona players have to stay focused on not making any mistakes in order to protect this slender lead. If a bit of magic from the opposition gets them back in it, there's little you can do about that. Higuain. Johnny Alba quite happy to put his body on the line after the cross. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Wonderful vision from Lionel Messi. Suarez. Magnificent defending. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Artur. Sergio Busquets, Frankie de Jong, Suarez, Griezmann, cutting the ball back, and it's certainly not like, and the final whistle, the cup issue is settled, a story of one side celebrating and the other distraught, and Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. And as a player, Lee, as a Barcelona player in this case, this is what you want to experience. Well, it is. You have expectations at the start of the season, all those long, hard training sessions in pre-season. You kind of need a goal to get through that pain. And focusing on winning trophies for Barcelona will be that carrot that they need. It's Barcelona's Champions League! And they've got to savour this. It's not every night 
this comes along. Well, it probably will be here next year, you never know. <laughs> the way they play, but fully deserved, and they'll have uh, celebrations right throughout the night with their families and friends. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. Ticker tapes coming down, the families in the stand, giving them all away. Well, they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment. Fantastic. to fire as well as ice on the pitch well they've come together in this competition as a team and they're celebrating together now fully deserved and you are looking at the best 